Hi everyone, today I will teach you how to make beautiful rose shoes. So, the first thing we will do is finding a rose. I would recommend a simple rose that is easy to work with. I'm going to use this one. When you have your rose, it's time to draw it. Actually, my camera died when I draw mine, so here I'm just filling in the edges. So now I'm turning the paper over and filling in on the back side so I get a rose on each side of the paper because I want the rose from like a mirror, you know, I want one side on one shoe and the other on the other shoe. So here I'm just starting to draw the rose onto my shoe and yeah, this is for you who know how to draw. I will show you beginners how to do this in another way in just a sec. So, for you beginners, instead of typing in just rose, type in tattoo, rose tattoo. Then you will get rose that is already drawn, it's ready. We can just click on it and yeah, there you have it. So now I'm going to measure my shoe on, so I get a little square, so I know how big of a canvas I have to work with. So now I'm taking my little square and placing it onto the computer screen and now you have to be very careful and lightly draw the outlines of the rows. When you have your rows you will uh, outline it again and now you're going to press the pencil to the paper because you want a lot of color you, you can see it's so much darker and this have a purpose I will show you so now I'm going to cut out my rose because it's easier to work with a small piece of paper and then I'm going to do some touch-ups just filling in some pieces where I need more color so now I take my piece of paper and I'm pressing it against the shoe here I'm using some scissors And now you'll see we created sort of a print that we can fill in. So now we're going to paint a rose and this is where you beginners will take some time and practice on paper how to make the shadows and so on. Don't worry, I will show you how to do this and I will show you how to highlight as well. So the first thing we will do is filling in every other leaf on the rose. You can see how I do it. And this is because we don't want the rose to be a big blur. We want to know where are the leaves. If we paint the whole rose pink at the same time it would be very hard to know where are the edges and so on. The colors I'm using are acrylic colors and they are based on plastic and it works very well if you want to paint fabrics. And with this darker color I will take a very thin brush and outline the leaves. And what you want to do is you want to fade in the red color into the pink color towards the center of the leaf just to make it more lifelike. He 
here in the middle I'm alternating the pink and the red color sort of defining all the little small 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 leaves inside the flower When you feel you're ready with the first leaves, we're going to fill in some of the rest. Uh, I'm going to fill in just a few, I don't want to fill in all of them because I want to be sure where all the leaves are and where I'm supposed to take the reddish color. Just to, just to be sure. <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> So now I'm just filling in the edges of the leaves with the red color and sort of fading it into the center of the leaves on the rows. Yeah, to make it more realistic. Now we're going to contour and highlight and I named it that because it's pretty much the same thing as we do when we do our makeup. So this is what it looks like when we have filled in the flower with the pink and the red and you see I've already done one shoe so that's what we're going for now's a good time to have the picture of the rose in front of you so you know where the shadow is supposed to be If you are a beginner and you used my other method where you used a picture of a tattoo, you can just search for a picture of a real rose and use that as a guide to know where the shadows are supposed to be. And I want the dark colors to sort of fade out in towards the center of the leaves, but from the other side. <laughs> That's my puppy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and yeah, uh, you can see what I'm doing right now. Shut up, Charlie. Oh. Yeah, sort of uh, fading it in towards the center. A tip is to take some of the dark color and blend it with a lighter color. Then you get a um, color in between. and. You put that uh, in the outer part of the shadow. <laughs> it's hard to explain. But yeah, it will blend in much easier with the pink in the center. And now I just realized I have forgotten a leaf, a whole leaf. So I'm just going to paint that in right now. <laughs> Sorry. Now we're going to do some highlights. So I'm taking a tiny tiny dab of the red color and mixing it with the white so I get a very light pink and I'm putting this color in the center of the leaves. When I've put on the white color I'm sort of blending it out. I'm taking some of the pink color sort of fading it out into <laughs> the red and the darker reds just to get a more natural 
natural finish. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do that all over the rose. And the good thing about using this light pink instead of the white is that you can build up the white. You can make it more intense by adding and blending, adding and blending. You will see how I'm doing it. So now I'm starting to get very happy with the color and I'm going over to the next step which is leaves. Uh, rose uh, leaves are uh, sort of a dark green so I'm I'm not a fan of buying every col color that is so I'm just buying the original colors if you <laughs> can say that. You know one blue one red, one yellow, one green, black and white. So I mixed them. So here I have black and I have green. So it's sort of mixing a darker green color. So I get the shade that I want. And yeah. So I'm just covering all the leaves with this dark green color. And uh, later I'm going to highlight center. And I'm going to use the green uh, unmixed. And then I'm going to use some white just in the center and you will see how I do it. Try to not get a too thick layer of color. It's better to sort of pressing it into the fabric. It will last a lot longer and yeah, it, it, it just looks better. So now I'm just going to highlight the center of the leaves. So now we're going to do the background and for the background I want some grey shades and I'm sort of using three shades of grey. A darker, almost black grey, a middle grey and a light grey and I'm starting with the middle grey as a guide for where I want my darker grey and my lighter grey to be. So. Yeah, I'm starting with the lighter grey and then the very last I'm taking the darker grey. And I want the darker grey to be near the rose. And now they're finished. Please let me know if you like this video. If you try my method for beginners uh, let me know if it works or if it, if it didn't work some feedback would be nice and i'm going to link my latest video here's a little clip from it and if you have any questions please uh, leave them in the comments and uh, i will try to get back to you here's my puppy i love you so much so yeah thanks for watching bye